Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, I'm Tracy. And together we are the nobodies. Yep. Just a couple of gals you've never heard of sharing what they know so far. And hopefully the little bit that we know helps you guys a whole lot. Hopefully we'll see. So today, oh, I'm excited about today's topic. We're talking about an untapped resource called the library, your local library. So many wonderful just uh, just a resource. If you haven't tried it out, if you're not there, you're missing out. We're going to talk about it. So let's get into it. All right. Absolutely. Let's do. But before we do, I have to tell you something. Okay. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but this is kind of disturbing. I don't know if it's old age or what, but the <laughs> other day, like literally for like five minutes, I forgot how to spell the word who. Like my brain just went to another planet and it was like, is it H, it's like, it was disturbing. Okay, maybe not five minutes. That's an exaggeration. So what did you end up doing? For a moment in time. Did you Google it? Did you have to ask someone next to you or you just composed no. yourself? No, it was like brain re You figured it out. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's times. Okay, we're talking about the library. All right, the library, folks, is more than just books. And depending on the size of your city and uh, what sort of resources you have within your library, oh my goodness, so much stuff to be had. Um, oh, yeah. um, anytime I ever move to a different city, this is the first thing. <laughs> it's almost like I set up my utilities and I get a library card, <laughs> almost in that order <laughs> to make sure that I'm just all set. So here are some of the things, if you didn't know that your library has available to you, um, besides just books, which of course you can um, order up online and have a hold put on them and have them put on the hold shelf and you can just go in and quickly get them right now. They're not even allowing you to go in. It's even more convenient than that. They deliver them to your car curbside service. I don't know if it could get much easier than that, but online they have the whole entire e-library, which does require you to have a computer or smart device of some sort um, to be able to access those things. But you can get things like audiobooks, music, movies, streaming services like even some like tv channels um you can also that's new to me yeah wow. it's pretty cool um magazines newspapers things that like you would normally and current stuff current magazines current newspapers um that you can access download onto your tablets you get still get all the pictures it's great one of the cool things that also they have um, access to at least here is consumer reports and you can go back in time and look at like reviews. If you're looking to purchase, uh, make a big purchase, like a car or appliance or something like that, you can go online and, and research, you know, what consumer reports had to say about that. Cause usually I think that's like a $50. <laughs> it, I looked that up before that is an expensive service. Yeah, it is. Wow. So that's something you can get through the library, at least here, look at your, your local library, see if that's something you can get. Also, they have um, genealogy websites that you can access, like Ancestry.com, also something that normally costs you money. You can go back in time, look at like registries um, and census uh, as far back as, as they have it, um, that they at least have let you have it access to. And, and it might be like a condensed version of it, you know, yeah. so that way maybe you can at least do some research depending on how far back you want to go. I found it helpful. I, I've used that myself. And then, in the olden days, do you remember when you could go look at old stuff in the library on the microfiche? On the microfiche? <laughs> yeah. I do. I do. I kind of miss that. Yeah. That was kind of like the search and the hunt. You felt all yeah. like yeah. detective NCIS sort of. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I did enjoy that. Yeah. They also have access to online programs like college courses um, that you can take. You can learn a foreign language um, just doing trade instruction, you know, like electrician, plumbing, you know, that type of stuff that you can take a class online. Um, and then the other thing that they also offer, which I think is pretty cool, I've never taken advantage of it, but it's certainly there. It's free, like one-on-one -on -one professional um, consultations, like with a, a tax professional, usually around tax time, they have that. Some like career um, resume interview help, they also offer that retirement planning, tutoring in a specific subject. And then, of course, there's a whole host of things if you have kids, like uh, all sorts of activities and movies and games and all that sort of stuff. So what are what are some of the things that you like at your library? Starting a program of lending out not just books, but items, things oh. like sports equipment. 
um, kitchen appliances, like small appliances, oh, wow. um, just a ton of stuff, which I thought, how neat. And, you know, just what an amazing community resource mm-hmm. our libraries are that, that, that we forget about. Um, yeah. And, and, it's free. and it's all online. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? And it's, and it's free and it's free. It's you just, free. You just get so your... think of some of the things that you're paying for that you can get for free. Yeah. And I think something to point out is that this isn't something that everybody just gets no matter where you live across the globe. This right. is, this is really a, a, a privilege and an asset and a resource that this country uh, is allowing because we happen to live here. And I don't know if it's the tax dollars or just how, you know, the system is set up, but when I've, I've lived, I've lived in other countries and it's not something that, that all places have either because they don't have the resources or they are not necessarily confident that the stuff is going to come back. So they don't lend it out, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So it's, it's really something to, to take advantage of. One of the things that we have here locally is something they call a culture pass, which Uh, A lot of the local um, exhibits and museums and that sort of stuff, they provide X amount of passes to the library per week, per location, and you can check out, essentially check out those passes. And it allows you uh, uh, admission for two to a lot of places that are oftentimes upwards $25, $30 per person to be able to get in. So, I mean, if you just think of the savings just on that right there, if you use that even a couple times a year, um, it's pretty amazing. So, and then of course they also have books. (laughs) So, and usually you can just auto renew things too, mm -hmm. for a certain amount of of time, um, new things, maybe not so much, but, but once they get into circulation, um, another thing too, you, you talked about all the instructional things that are available online, but I love the instructional books at the library too, like cookbooks. I don't like to buy cookbooks. Yeah. I love to just get them from the library, get what I can, you know, you can copy recipes out of them, whatever, yep. and then take them back. Yeah, that's, that's a great idea. That's a terrific idea. All, and then all sorts of just ho- hobbies in general, you know, this is a great time to start thinking of, um, a hobby that you're interested in doing, whether it's because you're still sheltering in place um, or just because it's winter time and you can't get out. We did a, 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 an episode recently on on helping the winter blues. Honestly, the, the library is just a tremendous like resource. They often have things like how to learn an instrument. Sometimes they have sheet music, if you know already how to read that. So it's just, honestly, you could start. <laughs> it's an unending, unending, limitless resource that you could be tapping into. So get online, check out what's available for you locally and, and get out there and do it. Get your library card. And it's, did we mention it's free? I still can't, (laughs) I still can't get over that. That's, that's my best. That's my favorite price. All right. That's it, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.